Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a haul from A Cherry on Top. These are the items I selected to use in my projects for the month of February, so coming up. And the theme for our YouTube hop was love, so we picked out a few things that I know will do, be, do good for that. And then I picked up an album as well, and I'll show you all the details, because since I work in 6x8 a lot, I always wanted to have uh, products to refer back to a cherry on top. So that is why I picked up this one. So this is the six by eight Vicki Booten album for Color Rush. And I picked it. There are other ones for her collection. So discover and find and where to next. They all have individual albums as well. It is a part of her collection line. I just love these colors. So I know it's an older collection, but I don't care. It is very cute. It's a two, uh, ring, um, uh, two ring is it right two ring it's a little different than the studio calico but i will say the it comes with all of these page protectors and a few of these decorative pages these page protectors are nice they are good quality so when i do projects in like they, these are nice they have a good weight um so that's just a side note so that's one I'm impressed by, so that way I always know I can get a Vicky Booten one. And then her collections, her albums always come with a mix of papers to already be included, whether they be prompted already, but that way it's kind of like a easy add a picture and go kind of moment to make it make it easier, you know, overall. So I loved, you know, obviously I love this. This is definitely up my alley. So I was like, oh, I can definitely do projects with this. Like totally does the work for you. And I love the color collection. So they do have the other ones available. I will leave this link, like I said, down below. Um, but the kits do usually come with a six by eight, just in case you're not aware. I picked up an alpha step. This is from Creative Devotion, which is the Faith line. But I picked up because, once again, my style, I always have stamping or something. And when I do projects for a cherry on top, I need a good alpha stamp. So this one was very basic and it's an outline. So that way I can color them in as I do projects and use them in a diverse way. For the love theme, I have picked up the 49th and Market Rogue. It's Rogue, yeah, Rogue. Um, six by eight paper pad and then the chipboard letters. And I only picked up these because I technically still already have the laser die cut of the florals and I have, I believe the washi and I have the journaling ephemera pack. So since I had those already in my collection that I did purchase from a cherry on top, these are the only things that I needed in order to kind of make a love project. And what I'm thinking is I'm gonna bust out my shim sh cinch machine. We're gonna make a little mini album. I feel like I'm gonna cut these down. These are six by eight, so then it'll be a four by six. And we'll have a little album. And the weight of these, if you're familiar with 49th and Market, it's a good weight cardstock. Like this can be a book for sure. So I just have it out of its um, out of its packaging. So you get, let's see, is it four or three? It is three of each sheet. So here's the front and the back. Here's the front. It's beautiful. And the back, the front the back so cute front back. love you know me you already know i love some 49 and market very cute and the simpler ones Love this. And then this was the back cover of it. I know so that showed all the papers, but it has one of these. And then this was one with some ephemera moments. And then the front car. Oh, yeah. So that's probably the front and the back because you got two of those. But the front, this is like the outside packaging. So they utilize this packaging, which is so smart. And then you get the chipboard titles, which I also love. So that's the collection I'll use for my love project. Altenu stamps, uh, the Camila Waterhouse and the Rose Floor Bunda. I don't, if I'm saying that wrong, so sorry. You know me, I love all the floor, the floral, floral stamps from Altenu. They're my favorite. So adding more to my collection so that I can do that. And then what was fun, I'll say this up. So what was fun is that Altenu, 
this is my this is what I want to do for my project is play with the layering die cut stamps so these are available you see that you need the great gradient in the colors in order to make the beautiful flower so that's why I picked up the gradient purple they were out of the pink but that's okay we'll figure out how to make a purpley bunch I want to learn these these are like a new item to me still these layered die cuts so oh so cute and you know I can't stay away from floral but then I also picked up the blend pack so you get two of each sheet in here they're all ombre and I just figured since they didn't have the gradient even for the pink one to use like I can cut from the top and the bottom of like some of those and get that pink look with the different shades to hold me over for a project. So that is the intention with these is to play with layered die cuts. And then lastly, this set of thinlets, this is from Tim Holtz and Sizzix. These little florals, I thought they were great and a neutral thing and I can throw these on as embellishments in my art journal. So I kind of think, you know, learn to play something new, playing with the art journal. Here's my love project and that will get me my projects for Altenew and then having this not project for Altenew projects for a cherry on top. I have this for my other memory keeping so I can refer to it and then some extra stamping because that is a fun thing for me to do. I will leave everything as much as possible leaved in the description so that you can shop if any of this sounds fun for you to pick up and stay tuned for my projects in the month.